So France. So first we will take an overlook to this country. So France, this is the one of the most popular holiday destination in the Europe, which attracts the tourists year round with the places to visit both in summer as well as in winter. So in this picture, can you guess the star? What is this? The Eiffel Tower. Yes, so this is the Eiffel Tower. So what, this is one of the most famous tourist destination of this place. Now moving on and we have a quick overview. So location of this country. So France is located on the western edge of the Euro, which is bordered by the Bay of Biscay. Talking about the capital, so Paris is the capital of the France and Euro is the currency which is used. Uh, here people speak French as a language. Now we will proceed with the airports first. So we are going to look all the international airports and please Kash, we don't erodate on the screen. Okay. So first we are going to look on Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport. So this is the airport, which is also known as the Roisy Airport. This is the largest international airport in the France. And this is the one of the busiest airport in the Europe as well. So here you can see a picture on the left hand side. So this is the one of the picture from the inside of this airport. And on the top right, corner you can see a picture so here you can see a logo right so this is the logo of this airport which represents the Paris airport and it is written as aeroport so as we say airport so in France we say aeroport and uh, this uh, uh, airport has two runways and in this picture you can see the configuration of the runway so um, isn't it like flower type runway the configuration so yes such in uh, such in uh, uh, such airport runway is named as the flower type of runway as it has a configuration alike to that now moving on so this airport that is the Paris Charles de Gaulle airport this is also named as or uh, this is also as uh, the four star star airport of the Paris And uh, just a second. Okay, so now I'm going to share one video. So this is the video about the airport.
so you can see the infrastructure also Okay, so that was all about the International Airport, that is Charles de Gaulle International Airport. So now, we will be proceeding with our presentation again. Okay, so just a minute. We to present it again. Okay, so I hope my screen is visible to you all. So as I told you earlier that this is the four star airport which serves over 76 million passengers every year. Now we will move on to the next airport of the France. Night Night Airport. So it is also known as Bordex Airport. So this is the airport that serves connectivity with the significant features, flights to the metropolitan places and some of the best holiday destinations in the Europe and the Northern Africa. So with its three passenger building, the airport is the hub for many international airlines, while the Terminal B, which is dedicated to the air traffic between the Paris and the borders. So here you can see a few pictures. So on the top left corner, you can see the headquarters, the infrastructure of the airport. And the next to that, you can see the aerial view of the airport, which shows the uh, headquarters, the infrastructures, as well as the runway. So what are the services and the facilities which this uh, you can have, uh, you can facilitate at this airport? So this airport provides valid parking services. They provide car rentals. They have shops and restaurants at the airport. Also, they have the transportation for the specialized personnel. And other than that, the top airlines operating at this particular airport are uh, Air France, KLM, TUI Fly, and Ranar. It's Ranair. Now, coming on to the next airport, this is the Strasbourg International Airport. So here you can see the picture of its headquarters, or you can see the picture of the airport of the airport. So Strasbourg Airport is the minor international airport, which is located in Enzheim. And this is the 10 kilometer west of the southwest of the Strasbourg that both communes with the Basin department in the Alaska region of France. So this airport serves more than 30 direct flights and this serves 233 connecting flights to the best holiday destinations. So not just an international arrival point, Strasbourg is the hub for the dom domestic airlines operating from famous places to visit in France. So here you can see the aerial picture uh, just showing you the runway. 
so offering uh, like uh, here you can see uh, they offer like a uh, computer they uh, offer the best travel experience and also the travel international has two story terminal points that is featured in the check in area and the arrival facilities so the services uh, and facilities at the Strasbourg International Airport is you can access free Wi-Fi and here they provide you the relaxation area as this place has over 233 connecting flights, right? So you need to uh, like have a stop between uh, your destination. So they provide the relaxation area so you can connect with the, another flight while you can relax meanwhile. Also, they provide the PlayStation service. So this is something that is really amazing for, especially for the youngsters so, or for the adults. As I don't know if there anyone who exists who doesn't like games, right? So everyone over here loves to play games. So yes, they provide the PlayStation facilities. And also they have the ATM at the airport. So other than that, the top airlines operating in this airport is Egan. Air France, Lufthansa, and the Turkish Airlines. Now, proceeding with the next, another international airport. So it's Nikkei Kote, the Azor Airport. So I don't know the exact pronunciation as it is in French. So this is the third largest airport in France. So this airport is located at a distance of six kilometers towards the north southwest of the France covering an area of 3.70 km square. So the airport has the facilities like two parallel runways and they have three passenger terminals and a free terminal. Okay, and also this is the one of the top international airport in the France uh, that its services includes space for 13 million annual passengers and more than 52 movements of 26 landings every hour. So you can imagine that in every hour, 26 aircraft land at this international airport. So you can see it as this airport lies at the amazing view at the seaside. So getting to and through the airport is relatively easy due to the uh, best transportation facilities which is available near the premises. So there are airport express buses and taxis available easily for the general movement of visitors. So other than that, some of the services and the facilities which you can get in this airport is you can get currency exchange, they provide free Wi-Fi, they provide lounges and also the parking space. So the topmost airline operating at this particular airport is EasyJet, Volati, West Air, Norwegian, and Air France. Okay, coming up to the next and the last international airport of the France, this is the Paris Orly International Airport. So one of the major airports in France and the second busiest in the country, the only international airport has a significant role to play in the travel industry of France. So this is an airport that serves millions of the passengers every year, but has only one tower attached to its name. Consider the fact that there are so many places to visit in Paris, the French capital does be at the rush of travelers, especially during the peak travel season. So hence, there are three airports that keep the tourism flowing in the Paris and the early airport is one of them. So here you can see the first picture of the uh, infrastructure of the airport along with the tower that is the air traffic controller tower. And the next picture, you can see the aerial view of the airport. So this is basically showing the car park. So travelers can get facilities like currency exchange, airport lounges, Wi-Fi, ATMs, uh, lost and found, a bank, and so much more at the airport. So there is even a business center right at the airport which travelers can use. So likewise, since Paris is world beyond for shopping and luxury, one can expect to get duty free shops along with the number of fancy restaurants right at the All International Airport. 
So this is the another international airport of Paris, which is considered as which is the four star airport actually. So uh, services, as I have already mentioned, they provide the Wi-Fi, ATMs, loss and counts, bank, currency exchange, restaurant, and duty free shops. So the topmost airlines operating at this particular airport are Air France, Air Caribbean, then Transavia France, EasyJet, and Vueling. So that was all about our tour to the airports. Now we are moving towards the another exciting part of our tour, that is amusement park. So in this, from from this picture in the background, can you guess what is this picture of? Not Disneyland. Yes. So this is also one of my favorite place to visit. So first we will talk about Disneyland Paris. So Disneyland Paris, which is formerly Euro Disney Resort, is an entertainment resort in Jersey that is in France, a town located 22 kilometer east of the center of the Paris. So the Disneyland encompasses two theme parks, many resorts, hotels, Disney nature resorts, a shopping, dining, and entertainment complex, and a golf course, of course. In addition to several uh, recreational and uh, entertainment venices, Disneyland Park is the original theme park of the complex. So here you can see some of the amazing pictures of this place. Okay, so the Disney magic comes to the light at Disneyland Park with the Walt Disney Studios Park. So Disney Village and has the magical theme for this. So this place offers 50 attractions and magical experiences as well as some of the exciting adventures for young and adults alike. So you can meet your favorite Disney characters as well. You can be amazed by the colorful parades and the breathtaking shows. And you can enjoy uh, the huge choice of more than 50 restaurants, the perfect choice for a family break. So now I am going to show mm -hmm. of the good video of the Disney Disneyland in Paris. So are you all excited? Yes. So in this video, I uh, will be showing you the 10 yes. most uh, attractive rides or places to visit in Disneyland. So at the end, I would ask you that which one you found the most interesting and uh, you would love to uh, have that particular ride, okay? Ma'am, it was very nice. Okay, so nice. right. Did you like the most of the favorite ones of yours? Ma'am, I like the Nemo one. Anyone else? Uh, yes, ma'am, it is very nice. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I like that Peter Pan also. Peter Pan's flat. Flight and uh, Star Wars also. Star Wars game I have also made. Oh, that's great. So now we will proceed with our presentation. So that was the first thing about that is Disneyland. So here we talk about the next that is Astrid Park. So this is a theme amusement park in France, which is based on the comic book series Astrid by the Albert Verzo. So this has with more than 2 million visitors every year. So this theme park is the country's second biggest theme park after the Disneyland Paris and it has over 14 million annual visitors. So it is especially well known for alone in France for its large variety of roller coasters. So it has begun incorporating rides and themes from historic cultures such as Gauls, the Romans, the ancient Greece, and the recently ancient Egypt, but uh, always in the visual style of the stories. So here you can see a few pictures of the ride as well as the roller coaster. Now proceeding with the next impact, that is the future scope. 
So the Futuroscope is a French theme park which is based upon the multimedia cinematographic feature of Futuroscope and the, is a audio visual technique. So it has several 3D cinemas and a few 4D cinemas along with other attractions and shows. So some of which are only of the examples in the world. So here you can see the aerial view of this theme park. So there are around 40 attractions to discover, each one uh, more amazing than the one before it. So take, talking you and taking you an extraordinary journey is beyond the stars. So a new creation has been added for the 2020 destination Mars. So this is a space themed roller coaster on which you can test your suitability for the mission to the red planet. Now moving on to the next, the Sea of Sand. So this is an amusement park which is founded in, back in 1963 and this is located in the uh, uh, Almanuel Forest. So the park is close to the commune of the uh, Almanuel in the Oise Department of the North of France. So the park is owned and operated by the Looping Group. So here in this picture you can see the entrance to this park. So this park offers you, uh, yes. Ma'am, I have joined late. Okay, no problem, we will share the recording with you. You can continue from here. Okay, so, ma'am. Yes, so this park, of uh, amusement park offers you an impact. Ma'am, which country, which country we are, uh, are we visiting? Okay, we are visiting France. Okay, ma'am. So, uh, this park offers you an immersive experience in the heart of the forest. So, they uh, offers you a wide variety, a wide range of rides. So, that was all for the amusement park. Now, we will proceed with the zoos of the France. So, the first here is, I have taken the, uh, the aquarium. So, this is the Europe's, uh, the largest aquarium in the whole of the Europe, and this is found only in uh, France. So, this is uh, the greatest European private aquarium. So, in, in 2018, the aquarium innovates and offers a brand new immersion into the underwater world. So, you, during the two hour visit, the heart of the ocean, you can uh, meet over the 12,000 marine animals. And you can be amazed by the biodiversity of the Atlantic, Mediterranean Sea and the tropics. So from the fragile jellyfish to the fascinating sharks, you can experience a unique journey to dream and understand the sea. So here you can see some of the um, classic animals. Yes. Wait a second. Is You said the word private? Yes, because it is the privately owned. Okay. Yes. So now I am going to share a video of this aquarium. Yes. Okay, so what is the capital of France? Paris. Okay, so now... I'm Paris. Okay, good. So now we... Mama, I was saying that, that he, the man was putting his hand in the water. The fish do not bite them. Yes, because the, uh, the fish was really friendly. Okay. The I I have been to Singapore and I also thought I also saw the show. Okay. Ma'am. Yes. Is it a public thing or a private thing? It is owned privately, like uh, uh, some of the things that are owned by the government. So this place was, uh, uh, is owned by a private person, which is uh, public for everyone. That anyone can uh, have a view of this place, can come and uh, see the aquarium. 
So I hope my screen is visible to you all. So now we will be proceeding with the, the another zoo that is a zoo park that is uh, so this is another zoo which is commonly called Beauval Zoo or more than simply a Beauval. So this is the French zoological park which is located in Saint Egham. Uh, so it features more than thirty five thousand animals on forty hectares. So which is the one of the largest animal collections in the France and in the Europe. So, with more than uh, 16 million admin visitors since 2019, it is the most visited touristic site of the center of the La region. So, one of the five most visited zoological institutions in the France and the most visited private conventional zoo of the country. Okay, so now I am going to show some animals. So, can you recognize this? Rhino. Rhino. This is one So, can you recognize this? Duck? This is. This is Egyptian. No, goose. this is not. This is a type of goose. Yes, this is Egyptian goose. Mm. Okay, so can you recognize this? Ostrich. Ostrich. Yes, ostrich. 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 And what about this animal? Wallaby? Mm. No. Uh, he's that, uh, the, I forgot his name, I knew this. Is that a wallaby? This is the good fellow street angle. Okay, so these are just some of the few animals which are yeah. found in this uh, place. So moving on to the next uh, zoo, that is the La Fermel Zoo. So this is, lies in the southwestern of France. So it was created in 1966 in the forest of La Corte by Claude Kelly. So it extend, extends over 18 hectares and it includes 14 of the landscape garden. It offers the visitor the opportunity of observing more than 16 animals of all kinds. And it is divided into 145 species over a distance of more than 4 kilometers. So now, can you identify this animal? Is that a white buck? Ma'am. Now, have you ever heard of this name? No. Yes, ma'am. No. no. Okay, I've so, seen also. Okay, so these are some of the wildest animals you can see over the zoo. Can you identify this? Elephant. 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 Yes. So that was all about that today. So I hope you all have a little bit Yes, man. Grand you was very nice. Okay, so we are going to visit Germany. Ma'am, which country? Germany. Germany. Yes. So I hope you would be as excited as we are for our next tour. So we will meet you tomorrow at the same time with the new destination and with the new speaker. So bye-bye everyone. Have a good day. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma